Picture yourself in the sun-baked badlands of southern Alberta, surrounded by sculpted rock and deep canyons. Beneath your feet lies a story millions of years old, written in stone. In Dinosaur Provincial Park, scientists recently uncovered not just bones but thousands of dinosaur footprints, a living snapshot from the late Cretaceous. These tracks are more than fossilized impressions, they're a window into dinosaur behavior, showing us how these animals moved and interacted. Skeletons tell us what dinosaurs looked like in death, but tracks capture life in motion. This Alberta site is one of the largest ever found, a sprawling mega-track site that lets us follow the paths of giants. We can measure their strides, see their direction, and even guess at their intentions. The discovery offers direct evidence of herd behavior, dinosaurs walking side by side moving together as a group. Researchers painstakingly clear away rock and soil, mapping every track, noting its size and direction. The site is a chaotic crossroads with tracks from many dinosaur species crisscrossing in a prehistoric flurry of activity. Each footprint is a clue, a piece of a much larger puzzle. This isn't just science, it's a journey back in time, letting us walk alongside the last of the great dinosaurs. The scale and detail of the site are breathtaking, revealing a vibrant, bustling world. These tracks are a Rosetta Stone for understanding dinosaur life. For the first time we can see not just what dinosaurs were but how they lived together. The Alberta Megatrack site is a rare, vivid glimpse into a lost world beneath our feet. To understand these tracks we must travel back 76 million years. Southern Alberta was then a lush, subtropical coastal plain bordering the vast western interior seaway. Giant cypress and redwoods towered over ferns and palms while rivers snaked through muddy floodplains. This was a paradise for dinosaurs. Abundant plants fed huge herds of herbivores, and the wet climate preserved their footprints in soft mud. Seasonal floods and storms shaped the land, sometimes burying tracks under new sediment, fossilizing them for eternity. The tracks in Dinosaur Provincial Park were likely made after a flood, when the ground was soft enough to capture every detail. Over millions of years layers of sediment turned to rock, preserving these fleeting moments of ancient life. This fossilization is rare, making the Alberta discovery even more remarkable. The Cretaceous world was vibrant but unpredictable, a place of abundance and sudden peril. The trackways we see today are records of animals navigating this dynamic, ever-changing landscape. Against this dramatic backdrop, the story of herds and hunters unfolds. The Alberta track site reveals a cast of Cretaceous characters. Most tracks belong to Ceratopsians, horned dinosaurs like Centrosaurus, moving in great numbers. Their large, rounded footprints show powerful animals built for life in herds. Among them are tracks from Ankylosaurids, the armored tanks of the dinosaur world slow-moving and heavily protected. Carnivores left their mark two huge, three-toed prints from Tyrannosaurids like Gorgosaurus, the apex predators of their time. Smaller, three-toed tracks belong to Dromaeosaurs, swift, feathered raptors hunting or scavenging in the shadows. Each footprint adds a layer to the story showing a complex, multi-species community. The site captures a moment when horned giants, armored tanks, and deadly hunters all crossed paths. It's a vivid snapshot of a world teeming with life and danger. These tracks let us see not just who lived here, but how they shared the land. The most striking feature of the site is the sheer number of Ceratopsian footprints. The ground is covered with overlapping trails, all heading in the same direction, a fossilized migration. This is clear, direct evidence of a massive herd moving together across the plain. The tracks are so dense they overlap, showing a tightly packed group on the move. For years, bone beds hinted at herd behavior, but these tracks capture the herd in action, not just in death. Researchers estimate hundreds, maybe thousands of Ceratopsians march together. Imagine a sea of horned dinosaurs, their frills and horns moving as one. The ground would have trembled under their weight, the air filled with their calls. This was a super herd, a dinosaur metropolis on the move. Why did they travel together? Safety, migration, and the search for food all played a role. The trackways show a purposeful, organized procession, not a panicked stampede. For the first time, we have fossilized proof of the Great March of the Ceratopsians. Looking closer, the Ceratopsian tracks reveal a family story. There are large adult prints, medium-sized sub-adults, and tiny tracks from juveniles, all moving together. This wasn't just a herd, it was a multi-generational community. 
Adults walked alongside the young likely protecting them within the group. The smallest tracks are often surrounded by larger ones suggesting a classic defensive strategy, adults shielding the vulnerable. The even spacing of footprints hints at an orderly, coordinated march. This was no chaotic mob but a well-organized herd. The tracks show a society where adults guided and protected the young, teaching them how to survive. These footprints are more than impressions in mud, they're evidence of a caring, structured community. The Alberta site captures a family on the move thriving together in a dangerous world. The story shifts with the appearance of deep, three-toed tyrannosaurid tracks. These prints cut across the ceratopsian herd's path, a predator stalking its prey. The direction is purposeful, the tyrannosaur was on the hunt, targeting the massive herd. This is rare direct evidence of predator-prey interaction frozen in stone. The tyrannosaur's approach is clear, it was drawn by the sound and movement of hundreds of horned dinosaurs. The tracks capture the tense prelude to a hunt, the moment before chaos erupts. While we don't see a full chase, we witness the predator's calculated approach. This single set of tracks completes the ecosystem, showing the ever-present threat faced by the herd. The tyrannosaur wasn't a monster, just an animal playing its role in the ancient drama. Its presence explains why ceratopsians traveled in such massive organized groups. The footprints are a stark reminder. Survival in the Cretaceous meant constant vigilance. The herd's unity was its best defense against the shadow of the tyrant. In these tracks we see the eternal struggle between hunter and hunted. The intersection of predator and prey tracks lets us imagine the ancient drama that followed. The tyrannosaur wouldn't charge into the herd, even a giant predator risked fatal wounds from a wall of horns. Instead, it would shadow the group, waiting for panic or weakness to separate a vulnerable target. The herd's defense was collective, adults forming a barrier, young kept safe within. The predator's strategy was patience and cunning, looking for the right moment to strike. The ideal prey, the young, old or sick, those who couldn't keep up. The herd responded with order, not chaos, using their numbers and coordination to deter attack. This was a psychological battle as much as a physical one, a test of nerves and strategy. Sometimes the predator succeeded, sometimes the herd's unity forced it to retreat. These interactions were a regular feature of Cretaceous life, shaping the evolution of both hunter and hunted. The Alberta tracks preserve this ancient dance, a timeless story of survival. The Alberta mega track site forces us to rethink dinosaurs as solitary, slow-witted reptiles. These tracks reveal social animals with complex lives, herds migrating, raising young and defending against predators. Group living was a key survival strategy, requiring communication and cooperation. Safety in numbers reduced individual risk and made it harder for predators to attack unnoticed. When threatened, the herd could mount a coordinated defense, using horns and bulk as weapons. This behavior suggests dinosaurs had vocalizations and body language to signal danger and organize their movements. The herd acted as a superorganism, working together for the common good. Evidence of social behavior is now found in many dinosaur groups, from hadrosaurs to sauropods. For dinosaurs, community was the norm, not the exception. The Alberta trackways offer a vivid look into this ancient social world. The story in these ancient footprints echoes in the natural world today. The great ceratopsian herds mirror modern migrations of wildebeest or zebra traveling together for safety and food. Predator-prey dynamics like tyrannosaur and ceratopsian or lion and buffalo are timeless. The strategies of hunt and defense have evolved again and again across millions of years. The fossil record is a library of evolutionary experiments, showing how life adapts to survive. Social structures and behaviors seen in today's animals are ancient, perfected over eons. Dinosaurs were masters of their world, thriving through cooperation and community. By studying these tracks we learn not just about dinosaurs, but about the enduring principles that connect all life. The echoes of their footsteps remind us that the bonds of family, the strength of community, and the dance of predator and prey are timeless stories on our planet.